Hello YouTube. Today I'd like to talk a little bit more about Asian slash Chinese brand instruments that aren't quite up to par as the rest of the the Eastern made instruments. Uh, there's quite a few of these uh, around on eBay, Amazon, like the Mandini brand. Not a very good brand in my opinion on anything. Everything just gets stuck. And this one is it just says maestro on the on the bell that is not a brand i've ever heard of first of all but this horn is what i got from my dad which he actually still owns this but he never plays it so i use it most of the time and this actually came from a garage sale just out of nowhere and i think i know why they wanted to get rid of it but First off, on this horn, the slide is completely demolished. You can see all the most of the nickel plating is off of it. And when we first got it, we actually had to sand it down with very fine sandpaper to get it working at all. And even though it's still it's still pretty loud, it's a lot better than what it was because it didn't move before. And we all. We almost had to replace the stockings completely, which that would have been bad. Might as well just buy a new horn at that point. This was probably only 200 bucks to begin with. Another thing that's interesting about this horn is that the, the valve is rotated a weird way. It's vertical with the, the mouthpiece. It's normally like that instead of like that. I can show you with the, the bass trombone looks a little normal. Then this one has the valve turned. Which I think is very weird. And it's very obnoxious on your collarbone. Because that's right where it sits whenever you play. Now, to the horn's quality of an instrument. It's not that bad if you ignore the, the slide. <laughs> It's funny because that's like the main part of the trombone, but oh well. And the F attachment is a full E attachment, so it's the very long tuning slide. And there's not actually proper bracings on this slide. So right there is where it ends, and you can't tell where it stops unless you go all the way in. That's all the way in. See if I can get it back out from that position. I have a little pencil mark on it on where I keep it for the F attachment. Now here's a little bit of the sound quality. Now I am nowhere near a tenor trombone player, but I try, <laughs> at least a little bit. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Probably won't need that in an ensemble anytime soon. But I've also found that I'm using my normal M31 mouthpiece and I noticed that if I use my 1G that I use my bass trombone normally I can get a pretty decent bass trombone sound <laughs> minus that one <laughs> probably sounds kind of farty on the on the camera but that's pretty decent bass trombone sound for what it is. Here's a little bit more playing in the middle register.
more of the high range. I have not played this horn in an ensemble yet. Uh, once I do, I will definitely let you guys know to see how it holds up. But it's a pretty good horn, considering we got it for free. And it was originally probably 200 something bucks. Thanks for joining me again. Have a good day.